Uh, well, let's bring in John Barrasso, Republican senator from the state of Wyoming. Uh, senator, there's a lot of talk in some parts of the country that we need a second shutdown, a retreat from the reopening that we've had recently. What do you think would happen to this economy if we did have a round of new closures all over again? Yeah, well, there's no need to go there. We're not going to shut down the economy again, uh, Stuart. There is no need to push the panic button, which we're now seeing certain governors doing and certain school superintendents. The first shutdown cost us 40 million jobs in America. That can never happen again. We need to do it responsibly. And that's well, that, why next then, week when Congress gets together, I have key points to any kind of a reopening bill that we do to make sure that we focus on getting people back to work, getting kids in school, making sure that we save lives. And you have that great news today about a vaccine, but also more testing and better treatments. And then we need to guarantee that there is liability protection yes. for our healthcare workers, for our schools, as well as for the mom and pop businesses. That's the way all of them can more safely open. But they're gonna come right at you and say, you are sacrificing the safety of American workers and American children in the name of economic growth. That's what they're gonna to say to you. Well, they've been saying that for a long time and they're wrong on that. There are huge costs to us as a nation, to our society, by having kids not in school, by having people not in work. And I've written about that extensively, about the cost of to the American public of being locked down into our economy and locking us down. We cannot go back there. Nancy Pelosi wants to pay bonuses for people and states that go back to another shutdown. That's their whole approach. Pay more if you don't come back to work. And that's going to be the big fight in Congress next week when we get together again to, uh, to have this discussion, this debate. And that's why I have the key points that have to be any kind of piece of legislation as we move forward, keeping the country open and doing it safely and smartly. Senator, I know it's not your call, but would you consider relaxing some of the social distancing rules, especially for going back to school? Because if you've got to stay six feet apart in the office or at school, you really can't go back to where you were previously. Would you consider relaxing social distance? Well, we need to do the things that we know work. And to me, that's wearing a mask. And the president has done that now and calls for others to do it. It's hygiene and it is a level of distance. And in schools for young people, it may be less than six feet. But we need to do the things that we know are important to help protect all of us in our society. So those are the things that I focus on. We need to keep the country moving forward. And I still believe our best days are ahead of us, Stuart. We will get the disease ultimately behind us. And the more we pull together and do it in the right way, the quicker that will be. Uh, Senator, the, the uh, Republicans are con reportedly uh, planning on holding next month's convention outside because of the surge in virus cases in Florida. Do, would that make it a safe event? Well, I believe it will. They are taking every possible precaution uh, to make sure that it's a safe event in Florida. I will tell you, it'll be a great event and a great celebration for the president. You know, Stuart, I chaired the platform committee four years ago for the Republican uh, National Committee and for the convention. And we're going to continue with that platform. At this point, the delegates from Wyoming are looking very much forward to being there to celebrate the president. And I can tell you, Stuart, it is going to be a great show with lots of energy and lots of enthusiasm. Will you be there, Mr. Senator? Well, I'm not going to be a delegate this year as I was four years ago. So it's still six weeks away and time will tell. Got it. And either That's way, it. I'm going to celebrate and it's going to be a great show. And I'm looking forward to watching the president that night. I hope you watch us and our coverage of what's going on in Florida next month. Thank you, Mr. Senator. Always a pleasure. See you again real soon, sir. Thanks, Stuart.